Hi, uh, welcome to Shobhani's micro class. Let's look at quickly how we can install Magento 2 as a dockerized set of containers. Uh, this assumes that you have docker installed and you have basic idea of how docker works. So these are the versions of the software that we are using and first we download Magento from the Magento repo. You will need the keys, username and the keys from the Magento.com website. More details you can find in the comments below. Okay, Magento has been downloaded and placed in a folder, Magento 2. Now we go to this website, the URL to this GitHub site is given in the comments and get this set of scripts when you install this it will keep two files in the root folder of Magento and it will create another folder called config which will contain the variables used in the environment Okay, let's look at the folders and files add. This is the config folder came from the git repo. There is a startup script. This is the MySQL containers entry point. These are the web service configuration files and here we have PHP FPM with debug enabled. If you are not using debug you can delete those lines and PHP configuration and the memory and the execution time settings and these are the These are the database and Magento settings and it here is the composer file. This defines the containers needed for this Magento implementation using microservices architecture. So the console is the file that came from the git repo. So these are the 
options the console command can do. It can install modules, execute the bin magento, and you also need to root. You need to connect a custom domain name to an IP address to to the box. So here we begin the Magento installation. This is a typical command line installation, but here you use the script that we downloaded from the Git repo. Okay, the installation is over, and these are the backend settings. Let's look at the containers running. Note down the port addresses as well. So the folder mapping happens like this. So Let's install a sample data. So config folder env has the settings and we are ready to browse. The front end and the back end. Should you have any questions or further assistance requirement, please do feel free to contact me. Thank you.